Today, guys, I'm going to teach you how to easily identify a red wiggler worm or Yesenia fetida. Now, the first step to identifying it is you have to make sure it's an adult species. So, what you're looking for is that it has the clitellum right in here, okay, is there or present. That shows that it's an adult species. The next step is to note the color of the head. So you don't want to uh, look at the whole worm. You just want to look at the head portion because there can be a variation in color down here. So you just want to look at the head and this one is red. Now that we determine the color, we're going to take a measurement and we want to get it fully extended. So you kind of let them crawl along and we measure it and you can see that this guy is about three inches long, which is the correct size. For a red wiggler worm, three inches is about the correct size. The average is 70 millimeters or about two and three quarters. Um, typically they're between two and four inches long. So this one is the right size. One of the last identifying features that we're going to look for is, see how there's banding on the head between segments right here? That's another important identifying feature of a red wiggler worm. If you want to get really scientific about it, you can, there's some other identifying features that we can look for. Uh, for example, you can uh, the sperm port is on segment number 15, which would be on the other, underside. You can count how many segments from the front it is to the clitellum, which is um, on, starts at segment 26 or 27 and then goes to segment 32 or 30. And then if you really want to get into it, you can dissect them and, and look for the gizzard, which would be at se segment 17 and 18. But for the everyday person trying to do some vermicomposting, um, you, you're pretty, you have a pretty good bet with these. If you get them out of uh, your compost, uh, outdoor compost pile or in leaf litter, and then find these small other identifying features, and you should be pretty sure that it is the red wiggler worm. Well, there you have it. That's how to identify a compost worm. I, I wanted to put out this video because it seems like there's a lot of misinformation about the identification of these kind of worms and I also believe that a lot of information just goes over the characteristics and features of them um, composting and I'm sure a lot of the worm farms don't really want you to know how to go out there and find them yourself and identify them yourself so I think there's a lot of, not a lot of information from that perspective so I hope you really enjoyed the video if you enjoyed this video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.